Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. It seems like a new virus that's trying to kill us pops up somewhere in the world every other day. The World Health Organization recently announced that it is monitoring a new contagious respiratory infection-inducing coronavirus, suggested codename Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, or MERS-CoV, that is responsible for dozens of illnesses and several deaths in the Middle East and Europe in the last few months. While a handful of deaths does not a pandemic make, there is much to fear from tiny imperialistic pathogens invisible to all but the most powerful microscopes that invade our cells to replicate, messing them up like a coke-fueled rock band destroys a hotel room after a concert. All the hand sanitizer in the world can't save us from some of history's nastiest viruses and the horrifying diseases they cause in humans, and we know you're just itching to hear all about them. Here are nine of the deadliest viruses the world has seen in the 21st century. Number nine, coronavirus. On 31st December 2019, WHO was alerted to several cases of pneumonia in Wuhan City, Hubei province of China. The virus did not match any other known virus. This raised concern because when a virus is new, we do not know how it affects people. One week later, on 7 January, Chinese authorities confirmed that they had identified a new virus. The new virus is a coronavirus, which is a family of viruses that include the common cold and viruses such as SARS and MERS. This new virus was temporarily named 2019 NCOV. WHO has been working with Chinese authorities and global experts from the day we were informed to learn more about the virus, how it affects the people who are sick with it, how they can be treated, and what countries can do to respond. Because this is a coronavirus, which usually causes respiratory illness, WHO has advice to people on how to protect themselves and those around them from getting the disease. Since it's a new strain, there is no specific vaccine that can treat it. However, according to the WHO, many of the symptoms can be treated and therefore treatment based on the patient's clinical condition. The symptoms of most coronaviruses are similar to any other upper respiratory infection, including runny nose, coughing, sore throat, and sometimes a fever. In most cases, you won't know whether you have coronavirus or a different cold-causing virus, such as rhinovirus. You could get lab tests including nose and throat cultures and blood work to find out whether your cold was caused by a coronavirus, but there's no reason to. The test results wouldn't change how you treat your symptoms, which typically go away in a few days. But if a coronavirus infection spreads to the lower respiratory tract, your windpipe and your lungs, it can cause pneumonia, especially in older people, people with heart disease, or people with weakened immune systems. There is no vaccine for coronavirus. To help prevent a coronavirus infection, do the same thing you would do to avoid the common cold. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and warm water, or with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Keep your hands and fingers away from your eyes, nose, and mouth. Avoid close contact with people who are infected. Get plenty of rest. Drink fluids. Number 8. Ebola. Its melodic moniker may roll off the tongue, but if you contract the virus, above, that's not the only thing that will roll off one of your body parts. A disturbing amount of blood coming out of your eyes, for instance. Four of the five known Ebola viral strains cause Ebola hemorrhagic fever, EHF, which has killed thousands of people in sub-Saharan African nations since its discovery in 1976. The deadly virus is named after the Ebola River in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, where it was first reported, and is classified as a CDC Biosafety Level 4, aka BSL-4, making it one of the most dangerous pathogens on the planet. It is thought to spread through close contact with bodily secretions. EHF has a 50 to 90% mortality rate, with a rapid onset of symptoms that start with a headache and sore throat and progress to major internal and external bleeding and multiple organ failure. There's no known cure, and the most recent cases were reported at the end of 2012 in Uganda. Number 7. Swine Flu WHO declared its first ever public health emergency of international concern for the H1N1 virus in April 2009. About 284,500 people were reported to have been killed by the epidemic, while the actual number may be much higher. The virus has its origins in an influenza pandemic, also known as the Spanish flu, in 1918-1919. Researchers once hailed the pandemic as the mother of all pandemics. As per a report of Science Daily, about 500 million people, nearly a third of the world's population back then, were infected, with total deaths estimated at approximately 50 million and were arguably as high as 100 million. 
Though the virus itself was a human influenza virus, researchers found that the virus causing the pandemic was able to infect and replicate in pigs, but did not kill them. Number 6. Marburg First noticed in the 1960s, Marburg virus is very much like the Ebola. The site of its outbreak was the German cities of Marburg and Frankfurt. It was between 1998 and 2000 when the first signs of its fatal nature came to surface. Of the 154 cases reported in two locales of the Democratic Republic of Congo, Durba and Watsa, 128 resulted in deaths. In 2004, a Marburg virus took 227 lives from the 252 reported cases. Transmission of these viruses occurs by direct contact with infected body fluids from animals and humans, such as blood, saliva, vomitus, respiratory droplets, urine, and stool, and contact with virus-contaminated objects, like needles or syringes. Persons who prepare, cook, and eat contaminated animals may become infected. Person-to-person -person transmission occurs, as does infection from direct inoculation. Transmission via semen may occur weeks after recovery. Number 5. SARS Severe Acute Respiratory Disease SARS, caused by the SARS coronavirus, came to light in November 2002. The first case was reported in China's Guangdong province, and it spread to nearly 37 countries within weeks. According to WHO, as of July 2003, there were 8,096 reported cases of SARS, with 774 confirmed deaths, most of them coming in China, 349, and Hong Kong, 299. Effects of this outbreak included uncertainties and fear that, in some cases, resulted in debates and policies against students returning to their U.S. universities from Asia after spring break, and travel restrictions to Hong Kong, parts of China, such as Beijing, Toronto, Canada, and Taiwan. Restrictions had political and economic consequences. Number 4. Avian Flu Centers for Disease Control and Prevention classified the avian flu as a highly pathogenic avian flu virus. In 1997, several outbreaks of highly pathogenic H5N1 were reported in poultry farms and live animal markets in Hong Kong. One of the worst impacts of these outbreaks has been in economic terms, leading to the closure of many a poultry farm in these countries, hitting poultry experts and international trade severely. It was also during this time that humans got affected with the virus. A total of 18 people were reported to have contracted the virus, of which six died. The virus re-emerged in 2003, when several cases in Asian countries like China and South Korea came to light. According to WHO, as of July 2014, 667 cases of humans infected with H5N1 have been reported, which caused deaths of 393 people. Number 3. Hantavirus There are many strains of Hantavirus floating around. Yep, it's airborne, in the wake of rodents that carry the virus. Different strains, carried by different rodent species, are known to cause different types of illness in humans. Most notably, hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome, HFRS, first discovered during the Korean War, and hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, HPS, which reared its ugly head with a 1993 outbreak in the southwestern United States. Severe HFRS causes acute kidney failure, while HPS gets you by filling your lungs with fluid, edema. HFRS has a mortality rate of 1 to 15 percent, while HPS is 38 percent. The U.S. saw its most recent outbreak of hantavirus, of the HPS variety, at Yosemite National Park in late 2012. Number 2. Lassa This BSL-4 virus gives us yet another reason to avoid rodents. Lassa is carried by a species of rat in West Africa called mastomize. It's airborne, at least when you're hanging around a rat's fecal matter. Humans, however, can only spread it through direct contact with bodily secretions. Lassa fever, which has a 15 to 20 percent mortality rate, causes about 5,000 deaths a year in West Africa, particularly in Sierra Leone and Liberia. It starts with a fever and some retrosternal pain behind the chest and can progress to facial swelling, mucosal bleeding, and deafness. Fortunately, researchers and medical professionals have found some success in treating Lassa fever with an antiviral drug in the early stages of the disease. Number 1. Dengue The leading cause of death in the tropics and subtropics is the infection brought on by the dengue virus, which causes a high fever, severe headache, and in the worst cases, hemorrhaging. The good news is that it's treatable and not contagious. The bad news is there's no vaccine, and you can get it easily from the bite of an infected mosquito, which puts at least a third of the world's human population at risk. 
The CDC estimates that there are over 100 million cases of dengue fever each year. It's a great marketing tool for bug spray. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up on my next video.